What's going on guys? I'm A, the Phenom of Phenom Studios, here to do another video for you. This one's a special video. I've been meaning to do more videos that give value, because if you're giving value, that's how you get the followers, that's how you get the support system, that's how you build a community. You have to add value to people's lives, because why else would they consume your content? It needs to be, whether it's entertaining, or maybe you're adding laughter to their life, maybe you're adding information, I'm going the information route. I'm gonna do my best. I'm still a beginning art, beginning artist, I would say, but I do have some experience. I've been at it for a couple years now. I have some knowledge. I've, I've been, I've been taking classes, courses. I've been, I've been the guy sitting at a desk every day for hours on end, morning to night, for a couple of years now. And um, I picked up a few things that maybe I could share with other beginning artists who are just below me. Uh, or, or maybe a few years behind me, uh, anything I can help share or give to help them move along a little faster because time is ever fading and uh, one day we're gonna be old and, uh, and die. So let's not waste any more time guys. We, we gotta do this while, we're, while we still can. So today I wanna go over what to do, how to start. If you're a beginning artist, what you have to do to, to get the ball rolling to, to, to start learning. Uh, it may be new, may be scary. You may be an artist who tries to draw, who, who, sits, who sits down at a desk, you got your sketch pad, you got your pencil, and you're like, crap, what do I do? Or maybe you're someone who does fan art. You're a fan art kind of person. That's how I started with the doodling. I was uh, doing Yusuke from Yu Hakusho and Goku, just uh, copying. And, but you, you don't feel like you're accomplishing anything. You're, you're copying a drawing. Um, I, I've been there. It's, I, I, I was, I, I've been in ruts before like that where you're just doing a bunch of fan art, but it's not, it's not fulfilling, you know? You're not really getting anywhere. I will say this though quickly, you are learning um, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're, you're, you're working on focus, your eye focus. So if you're really working on trying to get every line, uh, line right, um, you're, you are training your eye a bit, or, or a lot of it, and you're working on that, that muscle of discipline where you stay at one thing for a long time. That's a very hard muscle to develop, and it's a very important one, so I do commend you guys for that if you're doing that. But there's more to do as a beginning, beginning artist, more productive things, different productive things you could do. That is productive, I'm not gonna say these things are more productive, it's just more variables that you, to throw in to help you out. It certainly helped me out. Now the biggest thing, this is the biggest thing that's at the top of my head to think, that I can think of to help beginning artists, that'll help you, and this is not just for artists, this is for anything you wanna do in life. Maybe you lose passion with art, maybe you realize it's not your thing and you wanna do something else. This will apply to that too. The biggest thing that you need in your life is a goal. Yes, a goal. Do you have a dream? Do you have a goal? Do you have something you're aiming towards? This is why it's important. You can have the fastest, most souped up car in the world. I'm talking about this car was hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. Uh, freaking, it has all the, the fixings. It has nitro in the back. It can go the fastest car, it's a glossy, sexy car, and you own it and you're on the road, you can drive that thing all you want. But if you don't if you don't have a destination, where are you going, dude? Where are you going? You're never gonna get to where you wanna be if you don't have a destination. You're just gonna be driving around in circles. And maybe you just like driving. That's cool. Maybe you just like drawing and, and uh, you're not you don't and you don't have a destination, you don't have a goal, you just like the process of you, maybe you like the escapism, maybe you like getting to that flow state of just relax. Drawing is just very relaxing for you. And that's cool, that's great. But this is this the video, this video is for people that wanna pursue this as a career, who wanna make a difference in their life, maybe other people, people's life, they wanna start stories, make comic, uh, make uh, cartoons, like they wanna get into movies. This is for people with huge goals for art. Now, if you have a dream, you have a goal, you have something to reach towards. Say you wanna get into comics. Wow. You have Google and you have the library, you have blogs, internet, YouTube, all these amazing resources. By the way, the library is free. If you get a library card, you can rent books for free. It's amazing. But say you want to get better at comics, go into 
Google, to, or I, I like, I love YouTube, I'll just go straight to YouTube. How to make a comic book. This will open up the floodgates. We're, we're just talking about comics right now, okay. Well, you need to know how to make a page layout. You, have to need, you need to know how to make panels. The person in the video will talk about panels, the, the plot bubbles, the, the fonts, composition, the pacing of the story, you know, drawing abilities, writing abilities. This opens up the floodgates and then and then it starts then it starts giving you places to aim towards that you need to work on and you need to get better at. So if you're an artist, then then you get into the comic book art and you learn how to really um, emphasize poses and then maybe you can't draw poses yet, you need to start with the stick figures. People will start, if you're looking into these videos, that they might start recommending books for you to, to, to read, uh, books that will help you um, work on work on anatomy. Uh, and now if you're working on anatomy, maybe you're really good with the chest, you're good with the shoulders, but you're bad at the forearms, you don't really know where that knee goes, maybe you're really bad at fingers, then you, go, then you get the books about those, and then you watch the videos about hands, and then you watch the videos about the, the, the kneecap, you know? It goes on and on, but this will start leading you down down, down pathways. Man, these videos, Google, blogs, articles, whatever you read or watch, they will tell you the path to take. And then there's there's interviews that you can listen to of, of them interviewing other writers and other comic writers and comic artists that have gone through what you've gone through and they'll tell you what they did to, to, to get to where they're at. And it's just like specific advice and it'll, it'll, it'll show you the way. And then, then you just need to put the work in. But the same goes for animation. There's plenty of animation books that you can read. Also videos. People will make videos of them animating scenes, like scene by scene. And, um, same with comics. And they'll commentate over the video. So if you have a goal that makes things easier for you, you have a path to go towards, you have something uh, to shoot for. If it's been done before, then there's a pathway. And you can just follow the path. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's going to take a heck of a lot of work, it's going to take a lot of focus, and it's going to take everything you have. Everything. Everything. It's going to take everything. But it's possible. If it's, if it's been done before, you can do it. It just it, it just comes down to the amount of work you want to put in. Okay, so that's point one for beginning artists. Have a goal. Point two. Say you don't have a goal, you don't have a dream, but you have a, a like an inclination, an itch for, for art. You don't know exactly what you do, want to do, but you know it, it involves art. And honestly, that's kind of, that's where I am at right now. I have things that I think I want to do, uh, but but I'm not exactly sure. I just know it involves art, so that's where I'm at. So where do you go from there? This is also a great place to be. If you're lacking the skills, the first place to start is the fundamentals. 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 That's the building blocks. That's the foundation of everything. If you ever see amazing artwork on Instagram. These people, they most likely start with the fundamentals. I'm talking shadow, light, composition, aerial perspective, soft, soft and hard edges, temperature, uh, hue, saturation, you know, color, the whole color wheel thing, anatomy, gesture drawing, form, shape, realism. I mean, the list goes on and on. Just type in fundamentals, drawing fundamentals on YouTube and it will open up the floodgates for that. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm learning the fundamentals. I'm on Schoolism. It's a website, amazing website with amazing artists. These artists are masters, masters. And they're giving you assignments, structure, things to look out for. They're giving you advice. It's incredible, These just video courses. Something I recently discovered, the fastest way to learn and get better is having a mentor. Someone who's done it before. So it's like, it's like, if maybe you guys, have, have you guys ever read a book, um, something, maybe a self-development book, maybe something about business or investing or dealing with anxiety or fears or personal growth, you know? It's, uh, this guy who's 60 years old uh, writes a book about a specific thing. He has 60 years of knowledge. He puts it all in one book. And instead of you having to deal with that, going, going through the 60 years yourself, you can all read it in all, all you can read all of it in one book. And boom, you have the knowledge in your head. You don't have to go through that yourself. That's what's ha that's what having a mentor is. 
That's why YouTube's so great. Like these guys who post these videos, they don't necessarily have to be your personal mentor. Like you're not gonna know them or talk to them directly. Like some of them reply to comments, but they post videos and give you assignments and things to do. Like they'll give you homework and tell you what to do to get better at this particular thing. It's just up to you to freaking do it. You need to do it, do the assignment, work on that one thing they say. YouTube can get really overwhelming. Um, if you're watching a bunch of videos and they're all giving you these things to do, things to do, <clears throat> you might not just do any of them. It, it might be so overwhelming, like, oh, and you're thinking, okay, I got it in my head, I got it, I understand. You don't got it, you don't understand, let me tell you. When they do it, they have years of experience and they make it look easy. When you do it, I'm telling you, it doesn't come out like that. Believe me, I have the experience. It, <laughs> especially with schools, I'm, uh, I'm watching these guys and doing it, I'm like, oh, I got this. Oh, landscapes, easy. But that's, you, just, you have to enjoy the journey of getting better. So if I were you, there's a lot of websites that, that do video courses. All I know is schoolism. I know there's other things. You have to you have to do that research. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know at the moment. I probably should have looked it up. You know what? I'm gonna look it up right now. All right, so I just quickly looked this up. There's websites like Ude Udemy, Udemy. Udemy, that sounds familiar, I've heard of that, Udemy. Um, they have a lot of drawing courses. There's Skillshare, that's a big one. Uh, Proco, Proco, if you don't know Proco, they're on YouTube, he does free videos. Man, uh, whew, a lot of, a lot of inf informative videos. A lot of free content, but he also has courses online that you can pay for. And there's also artistnetwork.com. You can check that out, I never heard of them. But I do schoolism. Schoolism is where it's at. Schoolism is also on YouTube where they have free drawing videos and the inter free uh, interviews, which I found them through the interviews. The interviews are a must. If you're an artist, you must listen to these interviews because these are artists who have gone through the struggle that you've gone through and you can relate to them. They give you advice. They, they, they tell you that it's going to be okay. Um, <laughs> you know, they, they break things down in a beautiful way and um, I, I highly, highly recommend listening to those interviews. Schoolism, just type that into YouTube. Bobby Chu is the creator of schoolism.com. School is a YouTube channel. Cool dude, amazing guy, uh, big heart. Just check that out. So, but what's so great about these courses it, is it gives you structure, it gives you assignments. That, that way you're not at, yeah, at your drawing pad, not wondering what you should do, why you're not getting better at things. When you have an objective when you have these assignments when you have structure there's something you're aiming towards something that you're trying to get better at there, there there's something that about this assignment that you need to focus on there's focus there's a pinpoint say you're you're, you're painting a landscape and, and the assignment is it's not about making it look like the real thing it's about getting the shapes right or maybe it's just about getting that color right uh, maybe it's just about making that thing in the background look like it's in the background there's going to be particular things that you need to focus on in that assignment and that gives you structure and then you start building up your repertoire and your knowledge and you can pile all that together and make your own things and apply it to your own drawings you know so having structure having an objective this is what's going to propel you to increase your knowledge and increase your skills and just overall your overall art abilities so just to quickly go over everything again it's have a goal uh, have a mentor have structure, focus on particular, like one particular thing at a time. Uh, you have to be kind of narrow-minded with what you're trying to get better at, you know? Um, if, 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 there's, if, there's, if someone gives you an assignment, do the assignment. You're not gonna get better at stuff just watching videos or just reading or just listening. You have to put in the work. Yeah, and it's gonna suck, you're not gonna be good. And that's why you need to put in the work because you're not gonna get better if you don't go through the pitfalls, you know? If you don't go through the pain and the suffering, you need the suffering. Suffering will give you success. Remember that. Now I'm just a beginner, like you guys. When when you do start doing the research and you and, and you start watching these videos of these other professional master artists, they'll give you more advice, more specific stuff, and stuff that will propel you to to higher levels. You know. So I definitely recommend that and I look forward to you guys learning more uh, more than I can teach you right now, you know? Because I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm watching these videos with, with you guys. But that's it. If you guys found this video helpful, please like the video and leave a comment in the comment section um, 
what what I miss maybe I missed something maybe I didn't talk about something maybe maybe you want me to to get more into detail about something and I can do a future video for you guys just please leave a comment about if this was helpful let me know as well uh, that would be greatly appreciated like the video if you have if you're not sub yet please sub I'm on Instagram as well I, I'm on I post every day on Instagram uh, phenom underscore studios so follow me on Instagram if you're not already and thank you so much for watching guys I look forward to uh, interacting with you guys more and 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 uh, stay tuned for the next video and until next time guys being i'm out